Turbo is it? It's a Precision 7275. So what kind of boost are you seeing out here? What kind of power? Is uh, the last one it was about 18 and a half pounds. Um, probably somewhere around 800 or so. Right on. Um, what's the best that the car's been? Uh, yesterday it went 1020 at 133. That's that's the personal Personal. Best, so congrats yeah. on that. Thank man. you. Yeah, it was um, great. Um, did you kind of have this vision when you bought it and? It just kind of came straight well, here. Or is there well, actually, in the when lineage? I bought it, a buddy of mine has a couple of turbos, Zephyrs, LS right. Zephyrs, and he bought this one and he was going to put a turbo LS in it 12 years ago. And I said, nah, it's too pretty, don't do that. Sell it yeah. to me. And then so you did it. 10 right? years later, I did it. about the car maybe that someone wouldn't know by looking at it maybe something crazy behind the scenes uh, like, well when I built it I kept it as, as stock looking as I could you know right. kept the factory column shift um, put the code of digital gauges in it so it looked like factory gauges right. um, you know boost controllers oh yeah um, buddy of mine did the roll bar in there and he got it tucked in there as tight as he could and, as, right. and it, you can barely see it so awesome. but, uh, yeah there's a couple neat little little things throughout the car boost controllers hidden in the ashtray right um, boost controller switch is a mint can so it can't really tell it's a switch so. <laughs> nice nice yeah it's pretty neat so um is grandma upset that you took a church cruiser or <laughs> <laughs> somebody's grandma's right, probably right. pretty upset yeah they gave you trouble about them yeah so then you're not supposed to run hubcaps at the drag strip but right. there's a rule in there kind of hidden that if they're bolted on it's okay right so then I, when i got the wheels the, the mount was a little bit smaller than the hubcap so we just welded some nuts to the, the mount right and you just bolt them on and it fits like perfectly so that's the up and down on the boost control it's just mint can <laughs> So he wants to go up, clicks it, and it wraps up. It's actually what we've done is we've taken the e-boost too and uh, simulated the gear change here. Right. So it uh, allows it to go up or down and in, in boost. When people are looking, you just go. Yeah. Nothing never to see here. the boost controller. Yeah. Uh, my two-step switch, uh, switch down, it's a horn. Right. Switch up, it's a two-step. <laughs> so I don't have extra switches in the car. Uh, line locks taped to the yeah. signal light, so I can't really tell it. Right, right. So. And those are the Dakota digital gauges that actually fit in the factory holes, so.
a plug or anything like that? Uh, just Buddy calling from Richter Performance Modifications. Really, the whole uh, Richter family has been fantastic on this entire build. Awesome. Uh, my family, uh, Man Speed Shop. Right. You know, it was. Uh, it was a team effort to put this car together and make it work. So. And I also James Hatfield for the, the transmission build. Right, he's a genius. So.